Why SHIB got mentioned in a lawsuit? Hold until the date. Cryptocurrency in general, not least of which Shiba Inu coin, has had a really tough time of things so far in 2022. With wars breaking out, economic declines and inflation caused by an incompetent US government administration and just panic all over the place. Prices crashed at the start of the year and have only really halfway recovered since then. Shiba Inu has had a particularly bad time lately, and that might be to do with it being named in a lawsuit against leading cryptocurrency exchange platform Coinbase. Well, what happened with Coinbase? Why are they being sued and what does this mean for the price of Shiba Inu and other currencies going forward? Well, as always, I'm going to be answering these questions and much, much more, so don't go anywhere. Remember as well that the best way to stay updated on all the news that you don't want to miss out on about getting rich through SHIB is simply to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Now, please do keep in mind that I'm not a professional financial advisor and that there's always going to be a risk whenever you invest in cryptocurrency or anything else for that matter, and that you should always be vigilant and do your own research. After all, it is your own money. But with that said, and if you're finished subscribing, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what's going on. So, there's a lawsuit against Coinbase. Plaintiffs Christopher Underwood, Louis Oberlander, and Henry Rodriguez have filed a claim against Coinbase Global Incorporated, Coinbase Incorporated, and Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong, claiming that 79, yes, 79 currencies listed on the platform should actually be considered to be securities. It's a strange one, as we all saw what happened when the SEC tried something like this against the Ripple Labs and XRP and made themselves look ridiculous. It's hard to understand why people waste their time on such endeavors like this. The only possible reason that this makes any sense will be that they lost money trading crypto and decided to take it out on the platform. Of course, trying to claim that cryptocurrencies are securities is a fairly idiotic thing to do, because cryptocurrencies are just that. The clue is in the name. They're currencies, not securities. This is a debate that's been ongoing for about a decade, with indignant parties assaulting cryptocurrency with these spurious claims the whole time. A cryptocurrency has no ties underlying that connected to any business or interest that would further the value of the coin, which means it's basically nothing like a stock or a security. A security, usually in the form of a stock, is a representation of a single measurement of a business or other commodity's value as decided based on the decisions or activities of that very business. Since a cryptocurrency has no ties to anything like that, it's still just a currency. A security is a debt or an equity position in a company. If you have an equity position in a business, then what you've bought is going to gain in value as the business does its, well, business. One of the problems for Shiba Inu coin when it comes to this discussion is the existence of several gray areas when you consider the existence of the canine currency, since there are many parties with vested interests in seeing it do better and better. But the thing to remember here is the fact that there was no profit made simply by launching the coin. It was put out to be a currency, just like any other cryptocurrency. It cannot possibly be a security, as it's tied to nothing besides its own silly, jokey nature. However, it is a cryptocurrency that has been listed among the 79 that are being accused of being securities. The fact that only 79 have been listed is the first big obvious red flag that makes this lawsuit look kind of ridiculous, because if 79 cryptocurrencies are actually securities, which they're not, then surely all cryptocurrencies are securities, which they are not. Of course, there are things that are tied to cryptocurrencies that could be considered fairly gray areas, like NFTs and projects associated with the doggy dollar, but nothing that could make you think that SHIB itself is a security. Nope, it is a currency. This class action lawsuit by Christopher Underwood, Louis Oberlander, and Henry Rodriguez represents an attempt to recoup damages if we were to assume that the 79 currencies are in fact securities that have not gone through the proper process. Again, they were not securities, they are currencies, and this is totally ridiculous. When there is no underlying business, they can't be securities. Of course, the story is still fresh, and it will be interesting to see how this ends up playing out with all the regulations that are being discussed by the Biden administration. Of course, most people would rather never see the same administration that's responsible for the gasoline prices that are through the roof getting involved in the cryptocurrency space. Nevertheless, all the cryptocurrencies that currently exist are going to go through this painful and awkward adolescent phase as the space becomes bigger and bigger and attracts the attention of those no one wanted to come to the party. The fact that there are no business interests associated with Shiba Inu internally, because it's decentralized, is the biggest reason that this lawsuit is completely spurious but it's also interesting to see that people think that they can actually get away with this. Of course, there are companies that have adopted Shiba Inu, platforms that have listed the puppy penny and over a million people who are currently holding the currency. There is an enormous and loyal base of users and fans that do have an interest in the coin doing well, if only because it would make them laugh. The coin also has a variety of projects in the pipeline as well. 
With companies like Kraken and Gemini integrating the coin to their platforms, exchanging and trading your favorite Kenan coins has never been easier. Now they are the only ones. As I previously stated, as a not too recent league from the upper echelons of Robinhood, the prestigious financial services platform has revealed that they too are aware of the importance of involving Shiba Inu in their work in order to gain the goodwill and the customers of the thousands and thousands of loyal SHIB fans out there. This would help SHIB to develop stronger footing in Western mainstream culture, contributing significantly to the currency's long-term growth. Our good friend SHIB has also gotten associated with online electronics retailer Newegg, making it a viable method of payment on its platform, as well as Mover and Coinjar, two companies that allow crypto credit card top-ups that have announced the addition of SHIB as a way to use this feature. Yes, you already know what this means. You and I can use SHIB to pay for almost anything in the real world. When I first heard it, it totally blew my mind, and I think it should do the same for you. Now, it's also pretty obvious that the SHIB creators aren't slacking off either, with huge projects in the works such as the Oshiverse, a game that they're working on with Playside Games and renowned game developer Mr. William Volk. This is a game about using Shiboshis, one-of-a-kind non-fungible tokens that will contribute to a currency burn if users pay a $100 SHIB fee to name their Shiboshis. The problem is that SHIB has its major hurdle, which it has to overcome, which I've discussed extensively in prior videos on this channel, but I'm going to reiterate right now. The primary impediment to SHIB's growth is its own supply. It presently has over 540 trillion tokens available, which is so many that it prevents demand from increasing. The difficulty is that the coin's price can't reach any meaningful milestones without crashing the economy of a few countries, making it impossible for the price to really rise. To address this, a number of projects have formed with the goal of burning SHIB tokens and permanently removing them from the market. This is critical in order for the price of other tokens to rise, and the good news is that these initiatives are well underway. First off, Bigger Entertainment. God, I love these guys. The world's first crypto record label has been hard at work producing burn parties, special live streaming events that anybody can attend for a modest fee in SHIB. That SHIB is subsequently transmitted to a burn wallet, where it will be permanently removed. So far, the celebrations have been a huge success, resulting in the burning of hundreds of millions of SHIB. However, there's still much more work to be done. It's a terrific approach to help with the supply issue, and it's instilling new hope in Shiba Inu, which has risen from being the world's hottest meme coin to the 15th largest cryptocurrency worldwide, with a market valuation not too far below Dogecoin. With all of these elements in place, it appears like Shiba Inu is well on its way to climbing even higher up the ranks, with its tokens commanding ever-increasing prices. Burn projects are also assisting and will start seeing the results shortly. Of course, if this lawsuit becomes much more of a problem, then it will really contribute to a lot of currency suffering. However, it likely won't, because it's a very strange set of things to be complaining about in the first place. Why are these 79 cryptocurrencies suddenly securities? Why include Shiba Inu coin but not Dogecoin, the coin from which SHIB was first derived? The only slightly concerning thing is the fact that this case hasn't already been dismissed as completely ridiculous. Perhaps there's a lawyer out there who badly needs to keep the payments up on his Lamborghini by selling some billable hours for nonsense suits that have next to no chance of winning because they're based on spurious nonsense. No matter what happens with Coinbase and the other 78 cryptocurrencies, Shiba Inu is indeed a currency, not a security, and that much is extremely obvious. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and remember that your best chance for staying on top of this as well as any other developments is simply to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications so you'll never miss out on some hot tips that could possibly make you some cash. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.